me. Sure. So they're probably pretty comfortable. Oops, I'm sorry. This is a to the right panel. Yes, side. Hi, everybody um, again. But it didn't look like this. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a little different. These are kind of more for studios. So they're they're just really directional. Okay. So they kind of hear, quote unquote, right out of the end. Okay. So you just want to make sure that you're keeping your mouth within like this distance or so to okay. it. Yeah, you can even bring it a little closer. And just that it's kind of pointing at you. Okay. And then if you need to move or just and get comfortable, feel free to just grab it and take it wherever you want to go because it's on the arm. So, Beautiful. Yeah, just, I won't knock I mean, it over. Not the door. La, 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 la. <laughs> She's leaving with the money. Yeah. Come back. Please come back. <laughs> So, but yeah, other than okay. that, you can just speak normally and, and, and you'll sound great. So. And I assume that we are having a conversation today. We are having, a, it's very conversational. And so, beautiful. and then the, we've got, so that nine minutes and, and, and it'll start blinking when nine minutes are up and then we'll be like, okay, and we'll take a break and then nine minutes and we'll take another break and then we'll do the, the questions and we're done. And nine minutes is magic? It's is that? It's magical. <laughs> is, is, is that There's, a... No, Sam came up with nine minutes. I don't nine know. Nine minutes that. is like, is it? Ten minutes minus one. You always <laughs> yes. go over. <laughs> okay. Always go over. So That's true. Trying to do like yeah, it. Minutes, I do. Say. I always go over, and so then I'm like, oh, I went over. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes. soft warning. It's not like a stop talking right now. Yeah, no. Like, yeah, it doesn't like. I'm sorry if you don't if you don't be quiet right now. <laughs> you're so like, out of here. Like yeah. I'm sorry you went against the podcast rules, Sarah. Come on. It's got to be over now. I'm a lawyer, so I abide by those rules. If you say nine minutes, I think nine minutes. <laughs> nine minutes. It's over time. Literally. <laughs> All right, so let's make sure. Are we both kind of in here? I think we are. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jeremy. How are you? I know. It's so fun. I love Who is people. Jeremy? Huh? Who is Jeremy? He's See, so this tells you who ah, has come in to say hello to you. Excellent. So, so what happens when you do Facebook Live is people that are connected with me, it says, Mish has gone live. Uh -huh. And then, and then. Even though it's Tuesday at 10 a.m., some people will, you <laughs> I know. I love that. Or what time is it? Tuesday, we're Tuesday at noon. It's yes. lunchtime. More people show up. Y'all are at lunch. There's <laughs> Sherry. So so Sherry, her and her husband own um, Chesterfield Fence and Deck. Oh, wonderful. One of my awesome clients. Oh, I love that. Yes, Very they're, nice. They're, they, I love these people. They're really good people. And, you know, so I have this thing about my clients have to be of high integrity because I am. Ah, I see we share a philosophy here. <laughs> see, well, yeah, because I've had some clients yes. that weren't of high integrity. I'm like, you know, and so my, my, when I would break up with them, it was usually, we are not in alignment with each other. We are philosophically misaligned. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm, I can't, I can't make this happen with you. You have to be awesome right. for me to want to like talk about you every yes. day. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so. you are kind of the front line in social media for your clients. Well, yeah. So that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you should love their business. And I want to, and I, I have to feel like, I mean, I want to be telling the truth. Of course. Right. Sure. And so if I feel like I have to lie about you, it's right. It's not the right fit then. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, and so, and, and I mean, and not all clients that I've had to break up with, with are, were they, some of them, of it was course. just like, you're not ready for this. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, there's a few things we got to put into place before we do this. You I'm know? about to bring the social media storm and you're not ready for this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's like foundational things that sure. have to be put into place and, you know, so I want some of the people that I don't work with. Going, what? I am of high integrity. <laughs> no, I, I love know. that. I mean, it's analogous to what we do as well. I mean, we say solid legal foundation all all the time. So, yeah, yeah. I like it. It's appreci I can appreciate All right. It. Here we are. Of high integrity doing our high integrity podcast today. <laughs> Love it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hello. 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 Hi, this is Mish Hancock, and you are listening to Mishmash, a place where I get to talk to the weird, wacky, wonderful people of this world, people I adore and want to know more about. Today, my guest is Sarah Stock. Sarah's dynamic practice, Stock Legal, focuses on general corporate work for small to medium-sized businesses and commercial real estate transactions, where she advises her clients in all aspects of the business life cycle. And Sarah is, okay, I, I will tell you, I, I, there were like 80 things, so I just picked a few, <laughs> so I went with that. She is co-chair of the American Bar Association's Emerging Company Subcommittee. She sits on the YWCA Board of Directors, and the St. Louis University School of Law Business, Entrepreneurship, and Tax Law Advisory Board. And there are so much more. Beautiful. So that, my first question is, do you sleep? Um, <laughs> occasionally. 
like, juggling a lot of things. Well, and I have three small children as well. Oh, so golly darn. It, it is. But, you know, part of the reason that I'm doing what I'm doing is to create flexibility in my life. You know, I often work seven days a week, mm -hmm. but I make time to go to my kids' soccer games, to be on their field trips. Um, and that means maybe I work a little bit on Sunday. Maybe right. I work a, work a little bit on Saturday night. Oh, um, I, I do the same thing. <laughs> no, that is exactly how I yes. do. Because, I, I mean, I am there for all of, to my daughter's Mickey, and I'm there for right. all of Mickey's stuff. Yes. And the, but the way that I have to do that sometimes, if I'm going to be taking off on a Wednesday afternoon, all right, that means I'm going to have to do something on Saturday or Sunday, which is yeah. fine with me. Me too. I prefer it that way. Oh, me too. Yeah. I mean, don't you think that's one of the reasons why we're entrepreneurs? Yes, yeah. I really do. I really do. And what's been fun about building Stock Legal is that I've been able to share that lifestyle with my team who often, not often, who practices the same way. I mean, right. It's so fun. And, and I really think our clients appreciate it. Um, you know, many of our clients are small to medium sized business owners and their nine to five is spent running their business. Right. And so when I say, Hey, are you free at eight o'clock tonight? Most of the time they say, Oh my gosh, yes, that is the perfect <laughs> time to, I would love to talk to my lawyer then because you know, I'm running my business during right. normal business hours. So tell me about your business. Yeah. So stock legal is a transactional boutique law firm. And what that means is that we only do transactional work. We don't do litigation. We're not a full service law firm like you see from the big firms. Okay. Um, all of our lawyers are incredibly passionate about that small to medium sized market. And we're, all, most of us are former big firm lawyers, former general counsel. We all have incredible experience. And we figured out how to take that incredible experience, some of us running billion dollar deals and pare that down to exactly what the small to medium sized business owner needs. Oh, how cool is yeah. that? Thank you. I love when people do that. Yeah. I love when people are like, we, we don't have, you know, because everybody needs some sort of help with the law. Yes. It's a very confusing space for those of us that are not in it. It can be, absolutely. One of the things that's really important to us to that point is education. Uh, we, just, uh, we just rolled out some fixed fee work for our early stage companies. And as part of that fixed fee work, we put together packages of documents. Oh, cool. And we pair those, and it's, you know, those packages are really what every company needs to build a solid legal foundation. And we pair those packages, packages of documents on our website with video. And that video is educational, just very high level. Here's what these documents are. Here's what they mean. And here's how they protect you. It's, Got ya. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. And it's like, it feels very loving. Yes. Well, <laughs> and that's it. I mean, we're, we're very compassionate about the place that these early stage companies are in. Um, and with a lot of these companies, our goal is to start with them and grow with them. You know, we do on the other side of the spectrum, a lot of mergers and acquisitions work. So okay. we take very successful, mature companies and we help them either exit or we help those companies grow by buying other businesses. And so our pledge to early stage companies is, you know, let us help you put that solid legal foundation in place today and we will grow with you. We have the skill set and the capacity to do that. And when you're ready to exit, we, we're doing that right now for our more mature clients. So oh, cool. it really I allows us to service through that entire business life cycle. And, and also to help them to understand when it's time to do something That's like it. you're at this point now, you should be doing this right now. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Oh gosh. It has to be very peace of mind. It is. And, and for me personally, it's very fulfilling. It's what I've always wanted to do with my life. And so, um, I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be in my life and in my career oh, right awesome. here, right now. Yes. So, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you, I mean, I'm going to assume that you worked at other places at some point and then went, I have an idea. Yeah. So this sounds really outside the box, a little <laughs> bit different, right? Am I right? It is. Okay. It is. Um, you know, I was a big firm lawyer for 12 years, equity partner at a big firm, phenomenal firm here in town. Um, and my passion for small to medium sized businesses is what kind of prompted me, if you will, to leave and start my own law firm. And, you know, I had a really diverse background at the big firm, which is atypical often mm -hmm. for a big firm lawyer. Okay. Um, because of my diverse background, when I left, I first started servicing clients in a number of different practice areas all by myself. Um, and as my practice grew, I started backfilling those positions. 
and I knew I needed to backfill and bring in practice leaders, if you will, right. that, that brought the same level of experience to the table that I had. And so, you know, that if you, if you go to our website, take a look at our attorneys, you'll see they're all former, or not all, most are former big firm lawyers, okay. uh, former general counsel, or former in-house counsel for publicly traded companies. They're amazingly accomplished folks who are able to really bring that same skill set to the table that I brought um, initially. Cool. And yeah. then, and then don't you think, I mean, I, I, I always find it fascinating because it sounds like you were so intentional in, in yes. who you brought on board with you. Very much and so. And so you really did, you know, you thought, I am going to find people that have the same sort of mindset I do. Yes. That, you know, are brilliant like me. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're just going to say it. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that can, that can come in and fill in and so you can better meet the needs of all the people. That's exactly it. And, you know, we want to be a 15 to 20 person law firm. Again, focusing very specifically on that transactional work and nothing else. We know that St. Louis has enough small to medium-sized businesses. It's really an underserved area of the market. Right. And if we can deliver that very high-quality legal service, that incredibly high level of customer service to those clients, we will grow organically. We will grow through client referrals. We will grow through service provider referrals. And then we'd like to eventually take this concept more regionally. There, if there's a need in St. Louis, there's a need throughout the United States for Oh, my for this. gosh. And do you find that with the startups here, is that part of the whole, you know, there's a lot of startups? Oh, yes. And that is, that is definitely a piece of what we're doing. We work with startups, emerging companies. Um, you know, we do a lot of capital raise work for those companies. And, you know, one of the one of my favorite things that we do for those companies is that we help put together or put in place a team of advisors that really is philosophically aligned with how we do business. They practice with an incredibly high level of integrity. They put the client's best interest first. And we try to surround our clients with that amazing team of trusted advisors who oh, really cool. has their best interest in mind and can help them grow and achieve their, their potential. I love it. So if Thank you're a small you. or medium sized business and you're like, what am I doing legally right now? Here's your solution. Stock legal. Oh, there you, you go. You know, you're ready to rock it. Okay. Well, we are going to take a quick break and we will be right back. Nailed it. Great job. Oh, with that. Oh, well done. <laughs> I want to talk. Can I talk about it? Okay. Because sure. I just, um, I liked your Facebook page. Thank you. Your brand new Facebook page. Yes. And um, it looks like you guys are in a really cool place. Mm. So can I want to talk about yeah. where you're at. I it would, looks like a really cool building, right? It is. Okay. And it, you know, we, I, well, I was really searching for the right venue to, 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 right. to have our firm. Um, and this building just, it looks really, really interesting. And I was like, I think I to talk to her about the building. Yes. In fact, when I first saw it, I was like, is that a house for sale? Is that a cool? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yes. You know, and I mean, there's a big thing about your spaces and where yes. you land and what that looks like. So yeah. Oh we yeah. Talk that about that. Absolutely be fun. Absolutely be fun. I think now I'm ahead of Sam, which is unusual. Usually Jeez, Sam's like, right. be quiet. You're just so efficient. Yeah. That's what it is today. <laughs> I'm efficient for this Tuesday. <laughs> Excuse me. All of my kids have a cold, which makes no sense. It's June. No, it makes <laughs> sense. I know so many people with a cold right now. Yes. It's like they're and, and well, the, there's a, my my person that works with me, Jill Lee, who I can't live without. Like yeah. she's like like I couldn't function if she didn't help me with my company. Yes, <laughs> I understand. I, she, I swear, she's had a she has had a cold for like three weeks. And she's like I can kick this thing right yeah and she said the cough lasts forever uh-huh that's she exactly said the cough it. will not will not kick it it's just gonna just hang out I, cough away tea by townsend tea oh. company i'm telling you it's the best stuff on earth all right townsend tea is on you can townsend get it on the tea. internet okay and I, if so, amazon sells it i'll buy it it's i don't know if it's on amazon <laughs> but i know that they have it they have their i mean i buy it every year it's i used to have to take mucinex i would cough my way through uh -huh. the the whole winter season mm -hmm. and then I started drinking cough away tea and that did it 
Wow. I know. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Tons I know. Cough away too. I am full of great information. I know. I'm, I'm just taking notes <laughs> while we're talking. Oh, yeah. This well, we'll, incredibly we'll, we'll have. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so Amazon. Tons and T <laughs> should be calling me and sponsoring the Mishmash podcast, right? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we're ready. All right, here we go. And we are back with Sarah Stock. So I was, uh, during the break, we were talking about, you guys look like you have a very cool office space, and I would like to know more. Yeah, well, thank you. You know, we were looking for office space that was different, um, that really highlighted how uniquely positioned we are to help our clients. And when we went out and started looking, um, pop, what popped up in the search was this beautiful yellow brick Victorian-esque mansion oh. in the Central West End that had been converted into office space. And, you know, it had been vacant for 18 months or so by the time we found it. Really? It has parking in the back. And it was almost like the universe was holding it just for like, us. We're waiting. <laughs> no, no one else can have this. We, yes. You're not the person you're yet. Not. And so we, we moved in the end of January, and we furnished it in a way that is still very professional, but, you know, not your typical office furniture. We want our offices to be really welcoming to clients. Right. We want them to feel comfortable there. We want them to want to come come and see us. You know, lawyers are often seen as a necessary evil. Right. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I, I know the, I know the market I'm in, um, but you know, we add so much value to our clients in so many different ways. And we wanted our office to be welcoming and our clients to, to want to come and see us. Oh, cool. So, yeah. Well, it is true because when you think of a, you think of like these like ivory big, tower yeah right exactly yes. and like these granite you know, and huge wood. desks <laughs> you know with lots of gold finishings yes. and, and you know and you do that's like you, that's, that's the thing you get in your head well and that doesn't match who we are i mean we're a paperless law firm um, everything we do is in the cloud. Um, really? Absolutely. In fact, you see my bag right here. This is yes. my mobile office. I carry my MacBook Air with me everywhere I go. Oh, how um, cool. All of our documents are stored in the cloud. All of our files are stored in the cloud. Uh, we use project management software that's cl a cloud-based application to run the law firm and run all of the business that's coming through it. Our practice management software is in the cloud. And so, oh, wow. How forward-thinking. So you're very you. technology-driven. You are. And so do you have, like, a person that's, that is your, hi, make us all technology and paperless? Oh, you know, we started with that philosophy and went out and found the right applications to really build that in. I mean, we absolutely have IT support. Don't get me wrong. Right. It's definitely not something I do myself. <laughs> yeah, no, and it's an important I wear a lot of hats, but not that one. <laughs> Um, but you know, we're, we're constantly talking with our clients. What do you use? What do you like? What would you like to see from us? And you know, one of the things that we do for our clients is act as external general counsel. And that means that all of the legal issues that a client may have are run through me. And in order for me to keep track of that, adequately delegate it, create some accountability and make sure that we meet or exceed client deadlines, I need project management software to do that. Right. And that, that you know, that's something that it, it, now that we use it, it baffles me that not everyone uses it. Because, <laughs> well, it really does. Because I mean, we've used it with TEDx, you know, that right. because, and, and because it's a way that everybody's in that, cause especially if you're not all in the same sure. office, like yes. TEDx people were, you know, we right. each have our own lives outside yeah. of what we do at TEDx. So there has to be a place we can go and I'll look at this document and know who's doing what and track who's doing what. That's it. And, you, well, especially the volunteer organization. But is this what allows your people then to live their lives? That's exactly Because they're it. mobile. They we, don't have to be in the office necessarily. That's it. We have beautiful office space. My attorneys are welcome to be there whenever they would like. But the reality is that most of them are there 20, 25 hours a week. And the rest of the, the their work time is done wherever they happen to be. Right. And we have all of the tools in place to empower them to do that. Um, and that means that our clients get better service. I mean, my attorneys will get an email at 8 p.m. 
And if they need to take a look at a document that that email references, they just open up their MacBook Air, pull up the document, see, oh, huh, okay. And they don't have to wait until the next day to go into the office right. and get the paper file. Um, you know, a lot of lawyers spend 10, 12, 14 hours a day in their offices oh. because they need their paper files right. to do their job. And it's wonderful to not be have that chain. It allows me to get out in the community more, um, to meet more Which people. Which you've proven. <laughs> <laughs> the things that you do, you're out in the community. Uh, to meet with more people. You know, it gives me flexibility with my family. It, it allows me to live my life and really, you know, have that seven-day work week that we were talking about before we hopped on, on air. Right. Which is fun. So, okay. Um, so I'm... So I'm how many people are applying to work for you in a week is what I want to know. Because it seems sure. to me like this would be the dream lawyer job, yes. right? We've had a lot of interest. We really have. And, you know, we're trying to grow strategically. And so, you know, we really take a moment to identify, okay, where is our practice going today? Mm -hmm. And given what we see in the pipeline, you know, what skill set do we need to really fill that need that we know is coming? And then we go out into the St. Louis market and search for it. Um, you know, we get inbounds often, you know, and to the extent that they match up with our needs, uh, great. And if not, I always meet with those folks because I want to know who they are. I want to have their resumes on file so that when that need does come up, we, now we have a bench um, that Got, we can yeah. reach out to. So do your lawyers, do any of them specialize in certain industries or, okay. Yeah, so we have um, an intellectual property attorney who was with a big firm for 18 years. He's brilliant, great guy, wonderful with clients. Um, we have an attorney who spent most of his career at big firms doing mergers and acquisitions work. Um, and he does a lot of our mergers and acquisitions. Uh, we have two phenomenal attorneys who are um, both amazing women, very hard workers, crazy smart, that do general corporate work. Uh, we have former general counsel for First American Title Insurance Company here in St. Louis, um, Amy Rubin, who she does a lot of our commercial real estate work. It's been fun to really, oh, wow. you know, like I said, I started with this very broad skill set and I was you know, trying to do everything. And as my practice grew, these are the folks that I brought in to backfill. So did you start with just you? I, well, it was just me. And then I had two other partners originally when okay. I started. All right. And so we've, you know, we've kind of morphed and, and gone in a few different directions. And where we've ended up is where we're going to be, which is a transactional boutique law firm. Wow. That's so cool. And yeah. so I have to ask you. about transactional. Oh, yeah, what does that mean? No, I'm, I'm so glad you asked because we're trying to find a, a, a great way to explain it. Okay. And so maybe we can explore that a little bit. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can get done here. Yes, absolutely. So all we do is either deal work or document-based work. Okay. So when I say transactional, what that essentially means is, you know, we don't do litigation. Okay. Um, it's either, you know, Typically, there are two practice areas, litigation or transactional. And within each, there are dozens of subspecialties. Right. Um, but, you know, all we do are the documents, um, you know, deal work. So helping people buy and sell companies, helping people buy and sell real estate, formation work, helping people form companies, helping those companies raise capital, um, all of that general contracting that every business does. Okay. You know, most businesses do use um, master services agreement, distribution agreement, those types of contracts. Um, we do employment work. We help people um, enter into, co help companies enter into contracts with their employees, independent contractors. So anything that involves documenting a transaction that, or documenting yeah. an interaction, that's what we do. Okay. Well, I'm glad I asked because yes. I kept thinking, I probably should ask because I don't know for sure. And, yes. and, and I always think if I don't know, then hopefully there's other people out there doing it. Or maybe they're just like, gosh, Mish, get with it. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm really looking for a great way to explain that. So thank you for asking. All right. Awesome. Yes. Well, we are going to take another quick break and we will be right back with Sarah Stock. Look at us on time. I love it. <laughs> High five. <Woo. laughs> and now it's my question time. Yay. Well, you know, you have a lawyer who's a rule follower, so you're going to be on time. <laughs> it's, but you know, it's so, it's so funny because that it goes by so quickly. Doesn't it? That, oh my gosh. you know, you don't think it's going to go by that quick, but then you just, I mean, I. Sure. 
that's why I only have fascinating people on because it goes by really quickly. <laughs> if I had people that were boring, I'd be like, oh, okay, can we wrap this I know, up? right? <laughs> oh, I'm really enjoying talking mm. to you, so thank you. This is so fun. And, oh, my gosh, I had fun thinking of, I had fun thinking of your questions. So oh, we'll, good. So we'll see where we go. <laughs> Wonderful. I have a top of mind one Ooh. that I have to ask. You. I just think it'd be funny. I'm having fun watching us too. I know he does secret <clears throat> things over there. That Sam, I don't know what. He's magical. That's <laughs> he why. does secret things. He's magical. That make everything sound really, really good later. Like that was one of the things that um, Scott was saying to me. He he says. It's really, really, your podcast sounds so good. Yes. Where are you doing this? I'm like, oh, it's Shock City. He's like, oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> As, you know, so apparently you guys start with music. Music is the big thing. Okay. The big thing. And then podcast came later. But if you're a studio that's all about the music, you have awesome uh, audio sure and the sound uh-huh yeah. so i sound all professional over here i love it sound for video stuff too actually ah. just doing another project for vidzu john Monius's oh yeah i do a lot of stuff for them now actually I'm oh cool nice How is john yeah. did, did you do mine then vidzu did our brand video oh really which one what was it um it, it was well that we did one brand video and then one okay. video for each attorney Oh, okay. Um, I don't think that I worked on that one, but I've done, I did their brand video. Nice. And I've done some other projects for them. Usually it's when they, when it's especially complicated or like, Bring in Sam. That's it. <laughs> You're the ace in the Sam. hole. Bring in Sam. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. He's the guy. The ace in the hole. See, I just totally left out. <laughs> You're like, yeah, well. Go, oh, Sam, take on that mish, gal. Yeah, get the best, and you ended up with the best in the business. Who knew? <laughs> and now we have lots of fun. I love it. <laughs> it's nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. And we are back with Sarah Stock, and it's question time. Okay, I have to ask you this <laughs> because I just have to, but yes. there's all these fictional portrayals of law firms and lawyers and do you have a favorite i don't watch any of them really i don't do they make you crazy or you're just not watch you just not into watching tv well i'm not a big tv watcher but they make me crazy because how they portray lawyers is nothing like how what See, we actually I, do okay <laughs> this is kind of what i thought this is yes. what i thought do they yes. make it look way more exciting they, than it actually is a or? lot of it uh, but also i mean like i've watched maybe one episode of the good wife okay. right and that's a it's fascinating it really is, but that is nothing like what I do. <laughs> I, they wouldn't make a TV show about corporate lawyers. It's just not that intriguing. Because it, it, it'd be like, okay, I'm signing another document. I'm creating right. a document. <laughs> Wait, because you always, you know, it's always like there. The, a lot of them show that like there's that big moment yes. where it's like, how is this going to go? And then there's this big <laughs> moment where it's like. Oh, the truth was revealed. <laughs> you know, and you think, does it really happen that way? It does. And, you know, as transactional lawyers, our job is to bring equanimity to every situation. And we've been right. through and, and done. We have such great experience that it's almost impossible to rattle us. And so those big moments are, in a lot of ways, anticlimactic for us. I because gotcha. You know, I mean, even we had a, a deal that we closed recently and we had, we were ready. We were ready three days in advance to get this deal closed. It was a, a great size deal for wonderful clients. And we had two things come out of left field that no one could have foreseen. They weren't even legal issues. I mean, they were, hey, I need to hire this employee before we can close. And hey, our escrow agent won't act as escrow agent anymore. And it's going to push back our closing. Oh, gotcha. And so, you know, those things are, in a lot of ways, anticlimactic, right? Yeah. It's not that exciting. <laughs> but to the to the client, it's incredibly important and right. dramatic. Exactly. Right, exactly. And so our job is to jump in and just do the practical thing, which is help find them the employee, find them the new escrow agent, and... Close. Make this all happen. That's exactly gotcha. it. Gotcha. That's exactly oh it. Oh, my gosh. That's so, so that's not a TV show. <laughs> no, it's not a TV show. Uh -huh. and but it's, not, it's it's needed, it but is. it's not a TV show. That's right. That's kind of my thought. Because I always thought, you know, I wonder if lawyers <laughs> watch these shows and are like, oh, for goodness sakes, well, alive. That is not how that goes. And no one goes into court anymore. I, not no one. But very few litigators, and that's not what we do, but very few litigators really go into court that often. Really? So many cases are settled because litigation has just become so expensive. 
It oh, really has. Okay. And so those big dramatic court scenes that you see every day, I, that it just doesn't happen. It's not fictional. What, it's it's, it's all good done. TV though. <laughs> yeah, well, it is good TV. But uh, well, I will tell you, if you ever get a chance to watch Better Call Saul, it is hilarious. Okay, I will check it out. I will <laughs> check it out. So not the kind of lawyer you <laughs> would hire or That's ever great. be. I love it. <laughs> okay, but it is a hilarious. I mean, it's like yeah. it's he's just. I don't even know how to ex I don't I don't know how to explain Saul but add that to my Netflix list. We, Thank you. We we love Saul. Excellent. All right. Okay, so was there a time in your life like that someone said to you you should be a lawyer or that you thought I should be a lawyer? There was. Um, I'm one of those unusual people who has known what I've wanted to be my whole life. Really? Absolutely. Since I was about 6 years old. Um, and the, 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 the story behind it is that I grew up in a family business. Okay. My family runs a trucking company, Stock Transport, over in Lebanon, Illinois. Okay. And there were at least two times while I was growing up that my parents' business almost went under. Uh, fuel pi prices went through the roof, and there was a, a hike in insurance costs. Okay. And what really kept them alive and afloat were their trusted advisors. And I remember that being such a stressful time for my parents and, and you know, by, by virtue of that for me right, as exactly. well. And thinking to myself, gosh, when I grow up, <clears throat> I want to help people like this. I want to help people in this way. And it parlayed into um, helping companies really put that solid legal foundation in place. Oh, cool. So that, and build that team of advisors so that when the waters get rough, they have these amazing, experienced, trusted advisors surrounding them. From age six? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Now, now the big diverge, diversion, if you would, from the path that I thought I would be on is that I always wanted to be a big firm lawyer. Oh, gotcha. That's exactly gotcha. what I want. I, I, it never occurred to me that I would own my own law firm. Isn't life funny? I mean. <laughs> well, but sometimes, like, what you think in your head that looks like what it should look like, when you're actually there, you're like, this. No, this isn't really yeah, me. Not quite. Let me tweak that just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, in my head, when I was younger, I always thought I was going to be like this like super businesswoman in the sense I saw myself in a business suit and everything. Okay. And then as I got older, I was like, oh, how much I hate to dress up. <laughs> right. I just, you know, I sure. just really, I want to be in my tennis shoes and blue jeans. <laughs> yes, and your adorable shoes. <laughs> well, and, that, and then I bought adorable shoes Absolutely. not too long ago. So, yeah. But, you know, it was, I mean, and that's what I had in my head as I was growing up. But sure. then I realized... I could still be a businesswoman. I don't have to dress That's that certain it. way. Yes. You know, I can still be comfy. That's um, it. And then I went into social media, so I was extremely happy that Mark Zuckerberg was like, "Here I'm in my hoodie and blue jeans." I'm like, "Yeah, go, Mark." Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Right. He, he's speaking for all of us. Yes. A social media type do not like to dress up. I love that. That's great. All right. Do you have a favorite lawyer joke? <laughs> I don't. You don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know if I know one off the top of my head, actually. I, you always hear about people talk about lawyer jokes, That's right? It. Well, you know, I think they don't tell lawyers those jokes. <laughs> we, keep, we keep them from you. That's exactly right. Somehow we have magically <laughs> hidden them from you, so you have they no idea them, that there's They any. tell them behind my back, not in front of my <laughs> Right now you're going, lawyer jokes? Are there lawyer jokes? I, I didn't know. I didn't have I've any heard clue. of such thing, but... <laughs> Never has been. I love it. That's awesome. Yes. That's like an even better answer. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> because I know, and it's so funny because you think of like, I always think of that there's certain industries where there's just tons of That's jokes it. about them. Oh, absolutely. You know, and absolutely. I'm like, why, why quit picking on us? Well, and you know, there is a subset of the legal profession that really gives us a bad name. You right. Know? It right. means that we have to fight that much harder to prove that we really are practicing with integrity. Um, and it's, you know, it, I'm, I'm up for the challenge. Don't get me wrong, right. but I often start with the deck stacked against me, you know? Yeah. Um, and I have to really work hard to earn a client's trust because of that. And it's that small subset that, you know, the, the, you know, the few ruin it for all of us. <laughs> exactly. Well, no, but it's true. And, and I, there's other industries that are, you know, cause like the mortgage industry oh, is sure. like that, right? So there's the mortgage mm -hmm. people that are like, they're, they're on it. They're professional. You can trust them. And then there's the crazy ones that are just like, yes. oh, I can get you a mortgage in three hours. Let's right. go. You know, like, oh, yes. Really? How do you do that? You know, <laughs> magic and cars, you think yes. about the car industry is that way. There's mm -hmm. plenty of very, very, I mean, I I work with Offenberg and they're, you know, Chris Offenberg, they're of high integrity, uh, very good people, but then 
on the opposite end, there are there are people that are out there selling you cars and making up stories, yes. and you know, and you're getting in all kinds of trouble. So yeah, absolutely, it's out there. Okay, well, you're on the good lawyer side. Well, thank Let's you. Make sure I we appreciate know. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything else you would like to share with us before we wrap up our podcast? Your your first podcast. Yes, it's this is my thank first you. Podcast. Totally honored that I'm your first podcast. By <laughs> the you. way, you've but, made this so easy. And see, fun. it is. It's, it really it, it is. is. It's supposed to be that way. Absolutely. I love it. So thank you. Well, but anything else? you'd like to share with us? I'd like to ask you a question. Oh, well, let's go. <laughs> so how did you come up with weird, wacky, and wonderful? And is there a judgment made at the end? <laughs> Absolutely which category not. You no, like I won't at the end go, okay, we're going to chuck their stuff up to being <laughs> exactly. in this category. Uh, <laughs> check that box. <laughs> it is. Okay. So weird, wacky, and wonderful are all in a happy place, yes. right? So not like bad weird. Right. I, I like people that are, and when I think of weird, you're kind of weird sure. in that you, you said, I'm going to take this legal profession of mine and take it in this direction. Yes. And then wacky is just, I really believe everybody should have a bit of wackiness. I think it's fun. Yes. And then wonderful is, is the big word because yeah. really, I mean, I, so I walk around this earth in, with the feeling that, you know, I just love everybody and I know you anyway. And so they're all, everybody's wonderful oh. and I want to know more about them. And so when, as people come into my space, so, you know, Scott was yes. like, Mish, I have this person. He starts talking about, I'm like, yep, yep. She's all right. Yep. <laughs> let's get her on the podcast. I would love to talk to her. <laughs> you know, that's where that comes from. I love that. So, yeah. And I don't even know how I came up with it. I just think I said it on I think I said it one time and I went, oh, that's what I'm going to yeah. say from now on. So yeah, yeah, there you go. So that's where it comes from. Perfect. So it's all in the good. I love it. And you yeah. know, I always search out the quirky, right? The yeah. quirky, the people who think outside of the box, the people who think differently, the people that are doing disruptive things. Exactly. And, the, and that's a big reason why I am so attracted to Ted. Yeah. You know, because that's what Ted is. It's yes. people that are able to look at something and say, I, I'm going to do it this way. And, you know, when you are able to make your own way with whatever occurred in your brain at some point, that's, like, wonderful, right? Agreed. That's a wonderful thing. It and is. so it should be shared with everybody because everybody is looking for that thing that helps them to get to that place where, like, I, I saw this and did that. Oh, you just you know? did a great job describing a rising tide lifts all boats. There you I go. I love that. That is thank fabulous. You. <laughs> awesome. So that's where it comes from. Well, thank yeah. You. So no, you won't like listen to the podcast later and be like, she was in the weird no, category. Yes. Did you notice? You know, you have three columns Sam and on I your talk website. afterwards. And we have a whole thing yes. after. This one goes here. Let's discuss that guest. You know, no, 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 no. That won't be part of it. I promise. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. This oh my gosh, was Sarah, a wonderful thank you. opportunity, and I really, really enjoyed it. Same here. Thank Thank you so much. And we have other things we'll be talking about oh. later that we'll be sharing with people. So Wonderful. more to come people out there, but we're not sharing it yet. Um, but <laughs> there you go. I like to have that intrigue. Oh, that, ooh, what's yes. happening? So everyone have wonderful days and don't forget, go to iTunes, subscribe to Mishmash podcast. We always have amazing guests like Sarah stock on. Thank you. Yay! Excellent. So fun. Oh, right? this was so much fun. So much fun. I'm so glad you. Oh. you I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you. I'm so glad to know you. You made that we so easy. We will say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Will. <laughs> <laughs> dee, dee, dee.